How's it going, everyone? The Irish defense comes through again in the clutch. Probably, to this point in the season, the biggest stop they've had all year. Unbelievable finish to that game. Unbelievable win. And here we now sit at 6-0. and Unbelievable. I mean, as I've said in my recent videos, who, predict, who predicted us to be 6-0? and Nobody. But yet, here we stand at that point. Just, ugh. I don't, words can barely describe how I'm feeling right now. This, I'll tell you one thing, that Notre Dame defense, pure heart. Pure heart. That is the only thing that I can say to describe them. Just sheer fortitude, hard working, uh, they, they do not know how to quit. All year they've been playing phenomenal, and it, it didn't let up today. That's, all, that's really all I can say about that. Uh, just they keep playing hard, game in and game out. And Manti Teo in particular, just, uh, I tell you what, he deserves to be in the talks for the Heisman Trophy. Now I know a lot of a lot of people consider this a Heisman Trophy just a stat trophy, which, okay, I'm, I'd much rather have the BCS National Championship Trophy any day, but Manti Teo in particular, he deserves to be in the talks for the Heisman. Just... You know, with everything that he's gone through and him leading this defense to to play as well as it have been, it's just the the, the guy deserves it. What all, what else can I say? Um, I'm not just saying this because I'm a fan, but I truly believe Notre Dame's defense, hands down, the best defense in the country. I mean, these guys, as I said before, have been playing phenomenal all year. They've had some have some they've had some rough moments, but they are bringing it all together, and they. They're keeping the season alive for us, and to get that kind of stop that they had today was just oh, definitely another uh, historical moment in Notre Dame football created on that turf today. Just oh, four straight times they stopped Stephen Taylor in overtime, and oh, we had to earn every bit of that that win today. And I mean, the game's been over for a while now, and I just got off work not too long ago. That's the only crappy part about my current situation is the I've had to work um, uh, put in some overtime the past few Saturdays. So I've, you know, I've had to pretty much watch the game at work on a TV that I have set up there, and it's uh it's pretty cool having a boss of a, that knows how big of a Notre Dame fan I am and that he allows me to do that. So, um, you know, I couldn't I couldn't catch every single second of the game, but I caught the, you know, most of it and the the parts that mattered, but. You know, I've been, you know, pretty much a rant and raving nonstop about our defense. But hey, can you blame me? You know, they were they were the complete highlight of today's game. And if my MVP is our defense, so offensively on uh, today against Stanford, uh, we didn't we uh, had a hard time getting anything going. I mean, in that first half we were pretty much non-existent. Couldn't really get anything going. And that's kind of how it was for most of the game, actually. I mean, yeah, sure, we had our, our bright spots in the second half, and we got something going. We came through when it mattered. You know, Golson had the nice little touchdown pass, but just overall, our offense was pretty sloppy today. Um, and uh, the only, the, really the only negative thing that I can say about this game today is I was starting to see some familiar, unfortunate things happen that I was hoping that I would never have to see again. I mean, Golson... Uh, in particular, he put two balls on the ground, and uh, they were they were crucial turnovers. Um, you know, as we saw last year, we had what was it? I think I, I think 17 turnovers from the quarterback position alone. Well, we saw two today. You know, one of course being the uh, the fumble in the end zone early on in the game, which led to Stanford's only touchdown of the game. And then uh, another one late in the game when we're driving deep in Stanford territory, and Golson lets another one pop out. And, you know, we have to protect the ball. Those were crucial turnovers. That could have that could have easily meant the difference in this game today. And, I mean, just, you know, thank God we were able to hold on to win and, you know, muster up enough to get the job done. But we have to protect the football. I mean, I've been saying that all season long. We, can't, we cannot let that become a problem again, especially when we've been doing so well up to this point, making sure that it hasn't happened again. But in, also in addition to that, uh, too many false start penalties. And when you're playing at home, that's unacceptable. I mean, I, I, I think we had, what, six, seven false start penalties? 
ridiculous. It shouldn't happen, especially when you're at home. But at the same time, though, I'm not going to rag on the offense too much because they did have some shining moments. You know, Golson, he uh, made a lot of nice throws today, uh, made some uh, big runs, had the nice touchdown pass to Tyler Eifert, which tied the game. And, you know, I, I don't know his, his update after he, after Golson, after, when he took that hit that knocked him out of the game. I haven't heard any updates, but uh, I know they were talking concussion, but uh, hopefully he's okay. But still, to give credit where credit is due, Tommy Reese came in in relief yet again and did a phenomenal job leading us downfield to tie the game, send it in overtime, and coming through in the clutch like he did in overtime with the, the two big passes uh, to Devaris Daniels and the, then the touchdown pass to T.J. Jones. You know, say what say what you want about Tommy Reese. And, you know, as I've said all season long, I'm not – and I'm sticking by this. I don't think Tommy Reese is the future, but the kid knows how to take command out there, and I give him credit for that. I mean – Every time that he's come in this year and he's been called upon, he's delivered. So, Tommy Reese, great job today. He, you know, he, he came through in the clutch when we needed him. But, yeah, guys, I uh, <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Just a, a thrilling victory. I mean, as I've said numerous times in the past few years, I hate these close ones. I, it's like I feel the, the years just coming off my life every time we have to go through one of these. But, um. You know, not the not the prettiest of wins, and uh, you know, but wins don't have to be pretty. But also, I, I have to tip my tip my hat to Stanford too. I mean, they uh, this game was just like all all the experts said it would be. You know, a true uh, a true slugfest, um, back and forth, low scoring. Um, it just uh, whatever team made the most plays was, was going to win this game today, and that's exactly what happened. And you know, they Stanford proved today that they're not a pushover. I mean, they made us earn every bit of that victory, and for a while there, I was getting pretty scared because uh, you know they were really uh, they were really on us, and they were really keeping us off balance. And um, but the great thing though that I like seeing was in, not just in the overtime, but for the most part of the game, our defense keeping uh, uh, Stephen Taylor and uh, in a you know keeping him contained and keeping him uh, you know keeping him stopped the whole game and. They did, you know, that was a big thing that had to happen for us to win this game because he's a, a Taylor, he is a very talented running back. And, you know, speaking of which, that final play at the end, I get home from work tonight, turn on ESPN, or is what I'm starting to, what I'm starting to call them, uh, EBSPN. Of course, I see talk about uh, controversy at the end there. What controversy? Oh, come on, I mean... First off, Taylor's elbow appeared to be down, but even before that, his forward progress was stopped. Okay, he was stood up, he he was stopped. That's all there is to it. I don't know where these guys come up with this controversy BS. It's garbage. I mean, leave it to leave it to e, uh, EBSPN to uh, to just ruin a well, sort of ruin a moment of glory, a, a great classic moment that we had happen on that field today. But screw it, I don't care. Um, you know, ESPN and all the critics can say what they want about this controversy garbage and all that. We had Taylor stop. That's all. That's all there is to it. So, uh, yeah. With that, guys, um, I don't really have much else to say for this video except that it was a, a thrilling big win for the Irish today. Six and zero for the first time in ten years. BCS standings come out tomorrow, and uh, from rumors I've heard, we possibly could be number two in the BCS rankings when they come out for the first time of the year tomorrow. But we'll just have to wait and see. But one last thing I do want to say to my buddy Shamrock Jerry, Tricolor Represent, we got our payback, buddy. Uh, I hope you enjoyed watching this one today because I, I was thinking of you the whole time this game was going on and what happened two years ago. But we got our payback, man. So with that, guys, this is ND Sean 45 signing off. 6-0, baby. Go Irish. Let's get ready for BYU next week.